Hey guys, here we are once again talking about the unicorns of the modern age. Since the number of available 30 series cards is so very limited, we want to check out if there is much of a difference between different brands, or maybe you should just pick up the first card you can get your hands on. In this particular example, we'll be checking the mid-range tier, so stick around as there are a few interesting things that we've found along the way. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. We have two RTX 3060 cards from two different manufacturers. One is from Zotac and the other one is from ASUS. They're going to be battling it out in the heads to heads comparison to see if paying premium for larger heatsink, factory overclocking and more fans actually makes that much of a difference. We also threw in RTX 3060 Ti and AMD RX 6700 XT just to see how they will stack up. As you can see here, in the RTX 3060 lineup, ASUS card has a slightly higher boost clock due to the factory OC mode, but the rest is pretty much the same. The tests were carried out on our Ryzen 9 test bench, and we have covered gaming, productivity workloads, as well as delve deeper into acoustics and temperatures. Let's first jump into gaming results, starting with CSGO at 1080p, and to our surprise, there is no difference between any of the Nvidia cards, as there seems to be a bottleneck elsewhere on the system. To be completely honest, it is rather disappointing that AMD card performed so poorly, especially at this price point. When bumping up the resolution, we find that AMD card is holding its own at the top with the RTX 3060 Ti, but the difference between the cards in question is few frames, which is too close to call a clear winner. In 4K, we see much of the same, with one exception. RX 6700 XT is performing really well here. It clearly scales pretty good in this game. Next, we have Doom Eternal. This is another title where you don't need much of a graphics power to run. But nevertheless, when we compare the two 3060s, we find that the Zotac card is leading by about 1% while at 1080p and 4K. But let's be real here, 1% is not even worth talking about. Total War 3 Kingdoms is the opposite when it comes to GPU workloads. This game immediately makes each one of these cards sweat, but alas, we still have a very similar story. There's about 1% difference between the two. Just for sanity checking, we also ran the same test on Horizon Zero Dawn, and yet again got the same results. This ultimately shows that at least in rasterized games, there is basically no difference in performance while running any of these cards. Then I checked Quake 2 RTX to see if there's any difference in this workload, and long and behold, we are back to 1-2% difference. At this point, we're already starting to predict the results for the next test, expecting 1-2% difference, and guess what, we get exactly that. In Blender, we see one second difference in the shorter BMW test and a two second difference in the longer classroom test. With all of this in mind, you would assume that there is no difference between the cards and we can just close the case. But this is not the full truth. All this shows to us that the cards have been optimized to hit a particular performance target. Having different types of cooling and overall change in design does make a difference, as well as factory overclocking. To best illustrate this, we ran Furmark at 4K resolution to push the cards to the max. And while both RTX 3060s seem to be consuming the same amount of power, the performance is actually very different. You can clearly see that the Zotac card is able to maintain a higher clock speed throughout the whole test. That's about 50 to 70 MHz higher. With higher frequency, normally comes higher temperature. And in this example, Asus card is actually 5 to 7 degrees cooler than Zotac. The last and probably the most obvious parameter outside of pure performance is noise levels. Even though any other card can be performing really well, if it sounds like a jet plane taking off, that wouldn't be a fair comparison. While running Furmark, we measured the sound levels at around 30 centimeters distance from all of these cards and found that Zotec RTX 3060 Ti is the loudest of them all, which makes sense as it is the smallest out of the bunch. Followed by Zotec RTX 3060, then Asus RTX 3060 OC and AMD RX 6700 XT share the crown. So what does all of this mean? At the end of the day, the main GPU chips used in these cards are give or take the same, providing you didn't win or lose in Silicon Lottery. The only major factor in performance is cooling. With the beefier cooler and extra fan, we find the Asus card is running much cooler and is a little bit quieter. Another advantage here is the ability to overclock the card further as there is clearly some headroom. Given the choice, if you're a gamer who's looking for a great bang for the buck card, then go with a cheaper unit but expect it to be a little bit louder. On the other hand, if you have the money and also want to get more capacity for overclocking, then choosing the best cooled card may be more suitable. Just ensure not to overpay as compared to the next tier card. 
In some scenarios, it may be cheaper to go with an RTX 3060 Ti rather than a high-end RTX 3060. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.